target's wrong! Something's wrong with the train. I don't know what's happened, but it's letting out some kind of bleach-smelling gas. I can't breathe! I rolled down the window, and this gentleman told me, he says, uh, we've had a, a head-on collision with the train. We got a chemical leak. I can't breathe. And then he fell to the ground, and it was just like it hit me. It was uh, very strange. It was, it was like one of those uh, Stephen King movies. You couldn't hear anything. No dogs barking, no birds chirping, no random truck driving by. All you could hear was the railroad crossing bells just consistently clanging over and, over and nothing else. No wind stirring, nothing. So we were very fortunate that it didn't happen uh, during the day. It's awful, we lost nine people, but it could have been nappy. So no matter how bad it seems, it could have been worse. There's a lot more going through your town than you have any idea. There's a lot of things being transported, whether it's by rail or whether it's by trucking, that could change your lives instantly. As long as these materials are being transported, as safe as they say these tank cars are, nothing's for sure. I think they need to, to make sure that the, the hazardous materials is treated almost like nuclear, where they know where it is and no one gets close to it, and, and they take it along a route that has the least impact on people. Coming through the center of the town was not the least impact.